Hey, what's happening guys? So in case you missed it, a Man United supporter was arrested by Met Police prior to the FA Cup final on Saturday after being spotted wearing a kit with 97 not enough at the back of it, which, rather disgustingly, was in reference to the 97 football fans who died as a result of a crush at the 1989 FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest at Hillsborough. Honestly speaking, it's embarrassing for the club I support to be associated in the slightest with a bell end like this. Obviously, each and every fan base has their own unique set of morons that take things too far with chance, but to actually mock a tragedy by getting those words printed truly boggles the mind. In fact, the guy, who has been identified as James White, a 33-year-old from Warwickshire, should count his lucky stars that he was taken into custody, or else someone might have laid one on him for having the gall to walk around wearing that. As per Scotland Yard, he's been charged for displaying threatening or abusive writing likely to cause harassment, alarm, or distress, and has been bailed until 19th June, when he's set to appear at the Wilsden Magistrates' Court for a trial. The reason I'm doing a video on this is twofold. First and foremost, there's been a rise in those taking the mickey out of tragedies related to football, which, for some reason, seems to have skyrocketed following the COVID lockdown. And secondly, because the police arrested a further 22 people over the weekend for offenses including assault, affray, possession of drugs, as well as drunk and disorderly behavior outside Wembley. Now, much like abuse on Twitter or Instagram DM, I think it's high time authorities made an example out of somebody to showcase the world that behaving like a tit will cost you dearly. Otherwise, this will only continue to happen more frequently moving forward. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for banter and tribalism. It's what makes the sport the best in the world as far as I'm concerned, but rivalry shouldn't spill into outright savagery either. If you wanna shout profanities during games or take the piss out of opposition fans for their team's subpar performances, by all means, do it till you've lost your fucking voice. But bloody hell, mate, exercise a bit of common sense and know where to draw the line. The worst part about all this for me is, aside from the loss of life and the impact this kind of news has on the families of the 97, an inquest jury ruled in 2016 that the victims of Hillsborough were unlawfully killed amid a number of police errors, yet people continue to suggest that Liverpool's fan base were to blame, which couldn't be any further from the truth. On a side note, you can't help but wonder how this was even allowed to be printed in the shop given far less harmful requests are often turned down. Overall, I am slightly concerned about the direction the sport is heading in, and and shit like this will only ensure that the gap which exists between football fans, players and authorities continues to increase. Do let me know what you make of this down below and I'll catch you in the next one folks. Peace.